Good evening, I'm Ray Vizone, and with me tonight is Matt Krupphivner. And uh, we have a demonstration on using fitness with selenium. And uh, it's very excited to be here. I, th I thank the Sauce Labs folks and John for inviting us. Uh, didn't expect this big a crowd, so it's even more exciting. Thank you very much for everyone attending tonight. Uh, before we do the demo, I want to give you a brief introduction to fitness. If you've never used it before, we'll give the one slide introduction to it and then talk about how fitness integrates with selenium through something called a fixture. And after that, uh, cover four main reasons I think it's a QA multiplier, how it benefits a QA organization by driving down costs and increasing uh, the ability to produce test cases. And after that, I'll give you a comparison between some selenium test cases and some fitness test cases, and then Matt will do the demo. Fitness is a uh, web-based collaborative tool, and it mainly uses a wiki as a front end for developing and editing and executing automated test cases. And the uh, power of fitness comes from its extensibility through fixtures. And the fixture we brought with us tonight is one that uh, uh, gives us a, uh, an ability to have a custom grammar for a specific website that we were testing, the shutterfly.com is what we're gonna give as an example tonight. So we brought our fixture that uh, has a custom grammar to it that we'll demonstrate for you. And um, the other thing that fitness is, is uh, very capable of doing and Matt has done for his clients is integrating with continuous build processes. The uh, fixtures that I referenced are uh, what maps a test API to a customer friendly language or domain specific language. And the one we have tonight has some very specific grammar that goes along with testing a website. And we're going to show the demo of using this language as it, in testing a website using Selenium RC and Grid and then Sauce On Demand. And fitness is capable of doing more than just web testing. It's any, any open API that you can uh, get access to, you can write a fixture for and test anything that uh, supports that open API. But what we're testing tonight is a website. And of course, we're gonna use Selenium within our fixture for testing that. The four main benefits I see from Selenium integrated with fitness has to do with uh, driving down cost and increasing test cases. And the first one is being able, by being able to offer testers a customer friendly language, uh, we can use non-programming resources for writing test cases, which opens up the pool of test case writers for automated test case writing. And also minimizes, therefore minimizes the need for uh, as many programming resources to write test cases. There's a opportunity to drive down maintenance costs by exploiting the single code repository that goes along with a fixture. Instead of having lots of test cases written in a programming language, you have one fixture where all this technical code goes into and you maintain that. And then the test cases are written in the customer friendly language. There is a maintenance cost, you have to maintain the test cases and as things change, you have to change the fixture. But you're not dealing with as many automated test cases written in a particular language. Third, as we're all here tonight to talk about Selenium, because fitness has a fixture construct to it and it can be extended to use Selenium, which we, we're gonna show tonight, you get the opportunity to broaden your coverage, of course, across multiple browsers, uh, which is a benefit to anybody that's writing automated test cases, write once and execute many times. And then finally, one of, the, one of my favorite areas is, is extending an opportunity for those that wanna know what's going on with testing by giving them test cases that are readable to the stakeholders, to your customers, giving them test cases that they can read as stories. And that they're, by, by constructing these test cases in an activity focused way instead of a task focused way. And let me show you what I mean by that. I've got two slides with test cases. And on these two slides, the Selenium test cases are on top, all recorded through uh, Selenium IDE. Very nice code there. Uh, each of those lines are a task. And below is the corresponding fitness test case. Don't know if I'm in your way or you all can see it. Below are the corresponding fitness test, case, test lines, if you will, that uh, execute that same Selenium code. And this is all done in a wiki. And uh, these are snippets of test case code that Matt will show you in his demo. And as you can see, there's a domain specific language in the fitness test case. At the bottom there, you'll see that it, there's 
we've written custom grammar for signing in with a username and password. Pretty simple stuff, but instead of pressing buttons and entering things, what you're doing is explicitly stating I want to sign in with a username and password, and then I want to check to make sure I'm signed in. Two lines of code representing that test case. The second one's a little bit more complex. It's uploading a photo to an album. And you can see there's more selenium code on top. And in the fitness lines, there's just two lines, and the domain-specific language has been extended to do some cool stuff. In one line, we're saying upload a photo to an album. Very domain-specific, very much matches up with what someone who would want to test a photo repository website would want to have in their test grammar. And then finally, the second line is there is wait so many seconds to make sure that that photo gets uploaded. And with those two comparisons, I'll now hand it over to Matt to uh, do the demo for you and show you this code in action using Fitness and Selenium. Thank you, Matt.